so today my topic of discussion is prehistoric cultures in india so let's get started before going into the prehistoric cultures first we should know about evolution of human beings when did human being appear on earth man appeared on earth in the pleistocene period that is the ice age our ancestors first evolved in africa about 3 million years ago homo erectus were the earliest human species found the first fossils to be discovered was male fossil known as ramapithecus and female fossil that was known as shivapithecus Homo sapiens appeared during a later phase. The only stone age fossil which was found from India was known as Narmada man because it was found on the banks of Narmada river in Hathnora village of Madhya Pradesh in 1982. Narmada man used to live 2.5 lakh years ago and belonged to the Homo erectus species and race was Negrito. Next, I have presented the Indian historic timeline where you can see the Bhimbetka rock shelters initially that came into being from the Paleolithic period, then came the Mehergaur culture. then the early harappan culture the mature harappan phase the later harappan phase then comes the vedic period first the early vedic period that is the rig vedic period then the later vedic period then came jainism and buddhism then the early medieval period the later medieval period then colonial era and finally india became independent until date So this is just for a better understanding of Indian history shown in the form of a timeline. Next, moving on to our topic, that is the prehistoric age. So first, we'll discuss about what is prehistory. Prehistory is that period uh, where we have no written evidence. that is the period which went unrecorded unwritten that period of the past of humanity constitutes of prehistory the only information that we get about this period is through archaeological remains such as stone tools artifacts bone tools metal implements rock paintings etc robert bruce put who was an archaeologist as well as a geologist is often called the father of indian prehistory he discovered the first paleolithic tool which was an axe and it was known as the pallavaram hand axe it was discovered in 1863 Then India's first archaeological survey also began under Robert Bruce Foot from 1885 and he discovered the Belam Caves that is the second largest cave in Indian subcontinent after Bhimbetka. Okay now the three age system that is the stone age the bronze age and the iron age this was uh, discovered by C J Thompson from the collection of Copenhagen Museum So now prehistory can be divided into different periods or different phases. This I have shown. First, I'll explain this: the Stone Age, the Bronze Age, and the Iron Age. Now, uh, within Stone Age comes the Paleolithic Age. the paleolithic age can the time period of the paleolithic age dates back around 5 lakh years ago that is 5 lakh bc to 10000 bc during this time um, 
it was uh, known as ice age and during this time man was food gatherer so they used to collect food like fruits they hunted and they used stones for hunting stone tools paleolithic period can be divided into three phases again the lower paleolithic period the time period of which is 50000 to 5 lakh bc the middle paleolithic period that is from 40000 to 50000 bc and the upper paleolithic period that is from 10000 to 40000 bc next is the mesolithic age the mesolithic age is the middle stone age dates back from 9000 to 4000 bc still then man couldn't settle down or in the later mesolithic period they actually settled down uh, they were still food gatherers hunters but they learned domestication of animals and they used microliths as tools next comes the neolithic age the neolithic age uh, started from 4000 bc and uh, continued up to 2500 bc during this period agriculture started man became food producers they knew uh, the use of uh, pots they made pottery they knew spinning and weaving and during this period in the end of this period they could they invented copper so it was also known as bronze age or copper age then comes the chalcolithic age the chalcolithic age dates around 2500 to 800 bc use of copper and bronze was known during this period painted pottery emerged use of wheel and during the end of this period man learned the use of iron now we will discuss about our first age that is the old stone age or the paleolithic age paleo means old and lithic means stone hence paleolithic culture is the old stone age culture the term paleolithic was coined by an archaeologist john lubbock in 1885 Paleolithic age spanned from 5 lakh years ago and continued up to 10000 BC around During this period man used hard rocks called quartzite to make tools various tools So um, they were also called quartzite men They were food gatherers they lived in rock cave shelters and they collected fruits vegetables went for hunting and that's how they constituted their living domestication of animals was not found during this stage they had no knowledge of agriculture they had no knowledge of the use of fire or pottery but they learned the use of fire in the later paleolithic period that's the upper paleolithic period they used minerals to make pigments and used these colors for writing on the walls of the caves and bimbetka of course we know is a classic example of such rock painting or cave painting the geographical extent of paleolithic period is all over india except the alluvial plains of ganges and indus the paleolithic age is divided into three phases we will study the phases in details first the lower paleolithic period in this age man used tools like hand axe cleaver chopper sites are swan valley which is in west punjab in pakistan narmada valley the bhimbetka caves in madhya pradesh the belan valley 
Acheulean culture, hand axe and cleaver culture and swan culture that is the chopper and pebble tool culture. These two were very famous during the lower Paleolithic period. And uh, evidence of these tools are found from Port War Plateau in Pakistan in Swan Valley. Next is the Middle Paleolithic Age. In Middle Paleolithic period, the tools mostly used were pointed to some extent and made from flakes or blade like tools sometimes scrapers though scraper is not a tool now the sites where uh, we find these evidences are Swan Valley, Narmada Valley, uh, Maloprabha and Ghatoprabha Basin and few evidences have been found from Bakula and Purulia in West Bengal next is the upper paleolithic period the upper paleolithic period uh, aged from around 40,000 to 10,000 BC mm, the tools found in this period were blades, harpoons, bone tools etc the famous sites are Kurnul caves and the Muchatala Chintamani Gavi in Andhra Pradesh also Rani Gunta in Andhra Pradesh the Dalon Valley is famous and Pahalgaon in Kashmir. From this period, men learned the use of fire. The Paleolithic Age is also known as Ice Age. During this period, ice was prevalent uh, on earth. So after the um, men learned the use of fire, they could keep themselves warm during the later Paleolithic or Upper Paleolithic age and they could go to cold places for hunting um, in forests for collecting food and they could settle down and um, with fire they could keep themselves warm and keep themselves safe from the attack of wild animals. Next I have shown the sites of Paleolithic period which are found in India. Next a few questions related to this period. These questions have been collected from the previous years which have been asked in various examinations. So the first question, the earliest known stone tools in Indian subcontinent have been discovered from Kotwar Plateau in Pakistan, Hunsi Valley in Karnataka, Vidwana in Rajasthan, Bhimbatka in Madhya Pradesh. The answer will be Kotwar Plateau in Pakistan. Next question, which is not a principal tool of early stone age? Options are scrapper, hand axe, clever and chopper. This answer will be scrapper because scrapper was not a tool. The earliest evidence of man was found in Nilgiri Hills, Shivalik Hills, Nallamala Hills, Narmada Valley. This is of course Narmada Valley. Next, we will move on to the next phase of prehistory that is Mesolithic period or Mesolithic age. Mesolithic age dates back around 10,000 to 6,000 BC. It is actually the transitional phase between the Paleolithic and the Neolithic age. Domestication of animals started during this phase. The first animal to be domesticated for food is thought to be sheep in Southeast or Southwest Asia. But according to Wenke, the earliest animal to be domesticated was dog. It is evident that dog, sheep, goat, etc. were domesticated during this period. Next, tools. Tools used during this period were known as microliths. They were also like miniature tools. They were reduced in size but they were more sharp and pointed. They were made from chipped and flaked stones. They were around 1 to 5 centimeters in length. 
Microlith uh, was first discovered by Carlyle from the Indian rock shelters. Slowly, man started to settle down. From nomads or migrants, they became sedentary. They started sitting down, settling down, and this from Mesolithic period, it was no more ice age, it was ice free age, so it was known as Holocene period. Now, the important sites, the important sites were Dilwara in Rajasthan, Bagor in Rajasthan, which is the largest site. Earliest evidence of domestication of animals is also found from Bagor and from Adamgarh. Adamgarh is an MP. Next is Damdama in Uttar Pradesh. Then Panchmari, Madhya Pradesh, and Bhimbetka, Madhya Pradesh. So these are the important sites of Mesolithic period. Agriculture started at a much later phase of this stage. So in this period, still people were food gatherers and hunters, and fishing was also evident during this period. Group hunting started and people started settling down and staying in groups and they also learned the use of bow and arrow because certain evidences have been found. Next a few questions we will discuss regarding this period. Microliths are typical of Paleolithic age, Mesolithic age, Neolithic age, Chalcolithic age. The answer is Mesolithic age. In Mesolithic context, evidence of animal domestication was found at Lankhanj, Birbhanpur, Adamgarh, Chopanimandu. The answer will be Adamgarh. Three human skeletons in a single grave was recovered from Mahadaha, Damdama, Lankhanj, Morahana, Pahar. The answer will be Damdama. Next, which of the following sites provide evidence of animal domestication in Mesolithic period? The options are Orai, Bodhi, Bagor, and Lekmia. The answer will be Bagor. Next, which animal figures are mostly found in the cave paintings of Mesolithic period. The options are tiger, cow, buffalo and deer. Answer will be deer. Moving on to the next phase. Next is Neolithic age or Neolithic period. The age of this period is around 6000 to 2500 BC. It is also known as New Stone Age. It is the food producing stage. The term Neolithic was coined again by John Lubbock. There are two phases in this period a ceramic and ceramic phase a ceramic phase where we did not use the evidence for that there was no use of evidence of ceramic and in the ceramic phase there was evidence of use of ceramic pottery mud houses etc so the food producing stage which is a very important transformation from food gatherers man became food producers they first learned the art of agriculture. Um, the first beginning of agriculture, um, barley was the first cereal that was grown by the men during this time. Invention of pottery and use of ceramic also started in this phase. Chopani Mandu is a place from where we get the first evidence of the use of pottery. They 
मेड रेड एंड ब्लैक पॉटरी टेराकोटा वॉज यूज डिजाइन्स ऑफ स्वस्तिका क्रूसी फॉर्म्स एक्सेट्रा आर ऑल्सो फाउंड ऑन सर्टन टेराकोटा डिजाइन्स और ऑन पॉटरी पीपल न्यू दी आर्ट ऑफ बोट मेकिंग स्पिनिंग एंड वीविंग दे यूज टू वीव कॉटन क्लोथ्स then certain evidences of burials are also found in this period copper was the first metal to be discovered towards the end of this period and polished stone tools were used during the during this period important sites of this period are mehergarh which is the earliest site Now Mehergarh is one of the oldest agricultural settlement on the Indian subcontinent. We know it is located on the Bolan River, a tributary of Indus, at the eastern edge of Balochistan Plateau. Earliest evidence of settled life comes from Mehergarh. It is also thought to be a precursor of the Harappan civilization. Now, or Indus Valley civilization. the other sites uh, which uh, the evidences of which of neolithic period have been found from bursa home that is in srinagar then nagarjun konda in andhra pradesh and brahmagiri in karnataka from bursa home we get evidences of dogs buried with their masters so next neolithic revolution this neolithic period marks a revolution because from this period many changes were observed in the lifestyle of men certain innovations took place during this period first of all men became food producers from food gatherers they started settling down at a place domestication of animals was already prevalent stone tools became much more advanced polished small sized invention of pottery potter's wheel was invented use of boat spinning and weaving clothes another important thing was division of labor based on gender and age so all this marks neolithic revolution next we will discuss a few questions regarding this period first which of the following periods were considered by gordon childe as the period of revolution option paleolithic age mesolithic age neolithic age chalcolithic age the answer will be neolithic age Where do we find the three phases Paleolithic, Mesolithic and Neolithic cultures in sequence? Options Belan Valley, Krishna Valley, Godavari Valley, Kashmir Valley. Answer will be Belan Valley. Man passed from food gathering stage to food producing stage during which period? Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic or Chalcolithic? Answer will be obviously Neolithic period. Next, the earliest evidence of agriculture in Indian subcontinent comes from Koldiva, Lahura Deva, Mehergarh, Tokwa. The answer will be Mehergarh. It is the earliest evidence from where agriculture has been found. Cultural remains from Stone Age to Harappan civilization have been obtained from which site? Amri, Mehergarh, Kodbiji, Kalibangan. The answer will be again Mehergarh. Ash mound is associated with which Neolithic culture? Options: Budi Hal, Sangana Kallu, Koldiha, Brahmagiri. Answer will be Sangana Kallu. Now, what is ash mounds? Ash mounds are a feature. which was 
evident in South India. They are man-made landscape features found in certain parts of South India, mainly Karnataka. Dated back in 3000 BC during the Neolithic period. They are believed to be of ritual significance and they were produced by early pastoral and agricultural communities by burning of dung and animal matter. More than a hundred ash mound sites have been identified during this period from South India. Certain ash mounds have a low perimeter embankment and some have holes in them where they may have held posts. So this was about ash mounds which is a famous feature of the Neolithic period. Next question, the evidence of burying dog with human body has been found from options Burzaham, Koldiva, Chopani, Mandu. Answer will be Burzaham. Next. Next we will discuss about the next period which comes after Neolithic period that is the Chalcolithic period. The Chalcolithic period, which is also known as Metal Age, it is also known as Enolithic period, that is the contemporary of Harappan culture. It is a mixture of stone and copper phase. Certain sites, uh, the key sites such as Dandwara, Kayatha near Ujjain and Daimabad on the Pragara shows that Kayatha culture was succeeded by the Banas, Malwa and Jove cultures. So the famous cultures of Chalcolithic period were Kayatha, Banas, Malwa, Jove. We will discuss about that. This period is marked by the use of copper that was the first metal to be discovered in India and used. Stone tools were also used. Now agriculture, chun cultivation was prevalent, other crops was cult were cultivated, rice cultivation was first seen during this period. Other crops cultivated were wheat, bajra, cotton, lentil, gram, etc. They made painted pottery during this period, black and red pottery and also ochre colored pottery that was also very famous. They got acquainted with burnt bricks at a later stage of this period because we know that Harappan culture there were use of burnt bricks. Female potters didn't use wheel for pottery, only the males did. So that was a division of labor based on gender. They used various beaded and metal ornaments. They worshipped earth goddess, bull, they had fire altars, fire worship was also prevalent. They believed in life after death. That was prevalent from certain burials which were seen based on a certain direction. They also carried out cremation because in Dhanabad urns with pierced bottom have been found. Next we will discuss about the important sites. Ahar in Rajasthan, Iran in Madhya Pradesh and Jogve culture was prevalent in Maharashtra. Ahar culture also known as the Banas culture. It is the mature Harappan culture. The original name was Tambavati. Sites were Ahar, Gilan, etc. Stone built houses were found. Black and red pottery was found. Then comes the Kayatha culture. Kayatha culture developed around the Chambal River and distributed even Rajasthan. Next comes the Malwa culture, also associated with late Harappan period sites Iran in Madhya Pradesh, 
Navadatoli, one of the largest known chalcolithic settlements. Then comes the Jorve culture, also associated with late Harappan culture. Most important site of Jorve culture was Dharmabad. Others were found in certain places of Maharashtra on the banks of Godavari and Bhima river. Largest number of chalcolithic sites have been found in the northern part of Tapi Basin in Deccan Plateau. Okre colored pottery. Now this was an uh, important feature of chalcolithic period. It was prevalent in Harappan culture also in the early Vedic culture in the Aryan culture. Okre colored pottery was made by certain pigments which were deep yellow in color and the pots were painted. It is believed that they extracted copper from the famous Khetri copper mines of Rajasthan. So they knew about the Khetri copper mines and various other weapons, tools, objects, utensils made of copper has been found in this period. They also knew the use of black copper. So this was all about the Chalcolithic period. I have given a picture showing various sites of Stone Age in India. All the periods. You can have a look. Next we will discuss certain questions about related to the Chalcolithic period. Navda Toli. It is located in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh. Answer will be Madhya Pradesh. Okre colored pottery was christened at Hastinapur, Ahi Katra, No Red Fort. Answer will be Hastinapur. Navda Toli. No, which of the following periods is also known as Chalcolithic period? Old Stone Age, New Stone Age, Copper Age, Iron Age. Answer will be Copper Age. Navda Toli was excavated by K. D. Bajpay, V. S. Swapankar, H. D. Sankalia, and Mortimer Wheeler. Answer will be H. D. Sankalia. Next, we will discuss about a certain culture called Megalithic culture. What is Megalithic culture? It is nothing but a burial style denoted by various types of megaliths which emerged during the Neolithic Chalcolithic culture. It was also associated with pre Iron Age. The burial style is characterized by various structures such as cairn circles, dolmen, menhirs, etc. So, megalithic culture is not a certain culture, it is a kind of burial style that was prevalent during the Neolithic and the Chalcolithic age. Mostly, it was found in Vidarbha region of Maharashtra and in the southern peninsular region now as per archaeological survey of india the burial sites of junapani are probably the largest number of stone circles in the country so now so we discussed about the prehistory of India, all the ages starting from the Pliocene age that is the ice age which consisted of the Paleolithic age where people or men were nomads and migrants and then comes the Holocene age that is the ice free age and people started settling down and then comes the Mesolithic period, the Neolithic period, men learned uh, agriculture 
and became food producers then the chalcolithic period went down by use of metals so finally we come to our conclusion in conclusion we are just discussing about certain features important features and important sites of prehistoric period the largest belt of rock and cave paintings of the prehistoric period is Bhimbetka Caves in Madhya Pradesh, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Located about 45 km northeast of Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh, these caves were accidentally discovered in 1957 or 58 by Dr. Vishnu Vakankar of Vikram University of Ujjain. The caves give a vivid and a panoramic details through their paintings. The paintings of Bhimbetka caves are also called zoo rock shelter because they depict animals like elephant, deer, rhino, etc. Paintings also show the division of labor based on gender. Certain animals have been shown in the paintings but no snakes have been depicted and they depict the use of bow and arrow. Next another important tradition of the prehistoric period, period was the tool tradition. The tool tradition of ancient India were known as Mosterian, Acheulean and Oldovan. Iron came to be used in the later phases of the Chalcolithic period or the early Indo-Aryan or early Vedic period. So thus, prehistoric culture of India was quite well developed and it played a significant role in deciphering the historic timeline of India. So that's it for today about the prehistoric culture. Thank you.